Hey guys, welcome back. PDCKR here. We're back with our weekly recap of all things Injustice. This is for the week of April 18th, 2024. The current character challenge is Rebirth Raven. That is a one-week repeat. The required characters for that are Black Adam, Harley Quinn, and Lex Luthor, where Silver, Bronze, and Bronze, respectively. Her passive is Demonic Pact, which is on Tagen. Raven siphons her opponent's power if it is more than hers. And if two Raven characters are on her team, she Rebirth. receives... Or two rebirths, sorry, not Raven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. On her team, she receives three times more power per critical hit. She's got 1,300 attack, 1,350 health, and was last available on the 22nd of June, 2023. Yeah. She's not got the top stats, but they are very good and high. Um, and Rebirth Raven is the best Raven. Uh, the last time we talked about her, we had her tied with Teen Titans Raven for being the best Raven. But after almost another year of playing with her, basically every week, mm -hmm. I'm comfortable saying she's the best. Uh, lots of viewers have been asking us about making a tier list. And we might talk a bit more about that in our Q&A. But the one thing I'm prepared to discuss anytime is who we consider in our S tier list. This is standard nomenclature, right? Yeah. S tier? Okay, so S tier list, Rebirth Raven is s tier well it's just s tier it's not an s tier list it's just a normal tier. i list. guess it is yeah yeah, yeah that's yeah. okay she's an s tier in our tier list yeah um so she might not be the strongest or highest stat character but her passive is so much fun to use and generally super effective so let's get the second part of her passive out of the way so remember last time we were talking about crit hits and when they don't they're ambiguous and they don't tell you whether it's you doing the critical hit or you taking critical hit. Yeah. And intuitively, it should be when you do the critical hit, right? Yeah. According to the wiki, it's hits against her. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't give three times the power. Uh, according to the wiki, it's only double. Now, the only good thing is she counts as rebirth, so she only needs one rebirth teammate. But, I mean, the amount of extra power gained almost doesn't matter because that power generation takes away from the best part of her passive. And also, if you're blocking... Hits against you aren't going to be critical. So in order to take advantage of this part of the passive of doubling your power generation, you need to let the opponent hit you and get a crit hit, which is one and a half to two and a half times more damage. Yeah. So in multiplayer, the amount of power generation from getting hit is really low. Not blocking when getting attacked is a pretty useless strategy if all you're getting is double a really low amount of power. And getting it sometimes, not even all the time. Yeah, yeah. So in offline mode, where power generation is more uh, when you're getting hit than with hitting, it still isn't a good strategy to take full damage on attacks by not blocking. Especially because they won't have crit chance augmented against you, yeah. so it'll be an yeah. even smaller percentage of attacks. So I like to pretend that part of the passive doesn't even exist. So there are some passives and abilities that you struggle to take advantage of, and even when you get them to work, it isn't worth the effort that it took, right? So that power generation passive, that is that. Is that. I mean... Um, Kanek, Black Adam, Ami, Kami, Catwoman, their combo under passives, I, I feel like that's the same sort of level of, it sounds nice, not really worth the trouble. Mm -hmm. uh, but so really, what we, we get that out of the way, we're, we're getting to the magic part. The magic is her power siphoning. And if you want to take advantage of that power siphoning, two things you want to watch out for. One is Astro Harness, which offers immunity to power drain when the invulnerability is active. On the Flip side, uh, as a point of contrast, is uh, John Stewart Green Lantern's immunity that he gives his teammates. That is not uh, immune to power siphon. You can still suck their power. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind. Uh, the other one is LexCore gear, which does something funny. So even though it's supposed to re reverse power drain, which it does, uh, giving your opponent power. So instead of you, it's supposed to be instead of you taking power from them, they get it. You still get power. Mm -hmm. so it becomes uh, a race to see who can use the power and do a special first yeah so you just gotta be prepared um and uh, the beauty of the setup that we've got here is that um and you'll see a few fights like this we don't even have to worry about it because we're using static to stun if we're if he's stunning the opponent we don't care we give them power they're not going to win that race because they're still standing there in a daze yeah um so not the hardest part, I guess. I, I was gonna say the hardest part, but it's not. It's that her passive makes us want her you want us to use her as a special specialist, but she can't be the primary because you don't want to give her power generating gear because if you do, her passive gets wasted. You don't want her on a power generating team with say uh, Wonder Woman six hundred or Arkham. Is it Arkham? No, animated Harley Quinn. 
because, you know, we want her to have as little power as possible when she's taking in so she can snatch as much. But if you don't give her power generating gear, you don't always get power quickly because you need to wait for the opponent to generate power that you can steal. So she has to be the secondary special specialist. And so you need, uh, you still need a more traditional primary special specialist with Tanti Totem and maybe also Master's Death Cart. And the beauty of her passive is it's both a, an offensive and defensive passive. She acts like a, a bit of a pseudo tank against specials, right? So she steals power, you're avoiding specials damage. So on this team, um, you could almost get away without using Astro Harness. You just need to plan well enough that if someone is tagging with three bars of power, you have Raven ready to steal all three bars of power. You can still put it on. We have it on this team on Hawk Girl. Mm -hmm. um, now, if you don't get trapped into the idea that she needs to do damage with her specials, she's really effective protecting the team when she steals the opponent's power. Mm -hmm. um, Hawk Girl, absolutely. I, I was going to say she's useful, but she, I, in a lot of ways, she's almost necessary. Um, on a team that relies on tagging in and tagging out at the moment when you need to, you don't want to be locked out. You can see how much difficult difficulty we have when we're facing a team with Joker that has Quake Engine that limits our ability to tag in and tag out fast. It, it really bogs down the fight, a lot less effective. Still winnable, but not as great. Um, and so in this team, we've got Rebirth Raven, Hawk Girl, and Static. Uh, and Static is our primary special specialist. Static has incredible synergy with Rebirth Raven. They come from different universes, but his special one not only stuns every time, it has multiple hits that gives the opponent lots of power. And often you can get them close enough to one bar so that when she tags in, the power that she's generating off screen combined with what she's stealing is enough to get the one bar. Mm -hmm. And so we get to stack Cloak of Destiny and Necron Scythe on Raven. You can really take advantage of the the uh, stacked stun damage. And Enchantress is a really good third gear because it effectively acts as a special disabler. So all those times that Raven knocks in an opponent and someone else tags in with power, you've done a huge amount of damage. This is one of those times where you don't need to do splash damage. It's that the Enchantress Skulls acts the same way. You've just bought yourself the time to bring in static because the Skulls keep them from doing special stun the powered up opponent and then bring Raven back in immediately because of Hawk Girl, steal that power again. Um, and really that's why Hawk Girl is so important. Mm -hmm. And here's the, another tip. Hawk Girl is also in the S tier in our tier list. I should not say S tier. You said, right? I should, should she's S. No, she's S tier. She's yeah. S tier in our tier list. You said on our S tier okay. list before. Oh, okay. I, I had to say tier twice. Yeah. Okay. So, so she is, criminally underrated hawk girl is uh where most people don't have her in the s tier mm -hmm. um and we've got i mean basically you watch any of our fights in the last couple of years rebirth raven is there mm -hmm. smoking the the opposition for sure yeah uh so based off of a multi-year long challenge cycle we expect next week to be classic scorpion all right and what's wild is um, if we do an episode of our Q and A next week, like we plan to, then in our season of Lost Challenge characters, it's going to be uh, Mortal Combat Scorpion, who has been missing from the challenge for more than uh, four years now. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, and unfortunately, as you just alluded to, there are twenty three challenge characters that are missing from the cycle that you have no way of uh, getting right now, unless you beat them one of the times that they came around initially like way 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 right. long ago all right this week's multiplayer award is riddler's cane which becomes riddler's staff uh and its effects when maxed out are a 35 percent max health increase a 15 percent xp bonus to team uh and a 21 percent chance to blink against special one which is its evolved ability blink just meaning that you phase out of existence and dodge the special right right um and so we expect next week to be suicide squad joker unhinged yeah Another one of the, probably one of the worst um, mm -hmm. characters, which we'll get into next time. So the Riddler's cane slash staff, it's, it was a little bit broken. If we still had accounts accumulating XP, we would be able to tell. Yeah. But it used to be that it wasn't giving bonus XP like it was supposed to. Or if it was, it was only giving it to the card in the first slot. 
And part of the problem really is that XP bonus is not that good of a reward for one of your abilities, right? right. Like a gold bonus would actually be pretty cool. Just because yeah. while you're grinding, that would make a big difference. Yeah. Uh, but XP is one of those things that you kind of get while playing anyways. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, you don't really need. Right, because you can make stuff work. I mean, there's the the matchup in multiplayer is geared towards your team anyways. Yeah, and in uh, offline play, you can grind, you know, with just one good character, right? And right. bring two other people through. Which right. is actually what you should be doing to save your energy and your good characters if you're grinding. Right, right. Um, so if somebody could let us know in the comments if they have the gear and they're using it, if the XP part of the ability is busted still. Yeah. And even if it works, it isn't that great, right? Um, so the max health boost, you can get that from other gears. Blink on special one is potentially interesting, but Tantu Totem has made it a bit obsolete. Tantu Totem has been around forever. And, you know, at best, you just dodge. The opponent gets their power back, and then they can hit you or try over and over again until it's not like it dodges 100%, right? So 21%. So chances are they're just going to need to launch another one, and then they'll smack you around a bit. Yeah. Um, and it's not like other kind of dodge mechanics, right? Wally West or Dawn of Justice Batman, they both have passives that let them evade the special one but then mm -hmm. they do some damage wally west does more damage but dawn of justice batman does damage and stuns if it's unblocked really what you'd want it to do was block like 95 percent, right? right like you, right. you'd actually want it to let just a tiny bit of damage through and that way tantu totem wouldn't trigger and then it would actually be a lot better yeah that would be actually great yeah all right so 21 percent chance of dodge is basically one in five um and i guess i used to think that more would be unbalancing, but I feel like because of Tantu Totem, almost it would be more interesting mm -hmm. if it was a hundred percent chance of dodging, and then it would force you not to use special one. Yeah. Um, so higher percent on special two would be a problem, like Mother Box. But I mm -hmm. think on special one, it would be interesting to make it even like seventy five percent. Um, so I'm not sure what the equivalence should be, but it doesn't seem unreasonable to want a gear slot to be about as good as a passive ability. And I guess if we didn't have those other points of comparison with Wally West and Dawn of Justice Batman, yeah, it wouldn't seem so bad, but it, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. So there we go. Moving on to the store, we have the Scorpion Classic Bundle for twenty four ninety nine Canadian. Uh, all prices in Canadian because that's the information we have. And that's the only currency that matters, baby. Yep. Uh, so it's a corroborate include in next week's challenge. It comes with that 100,000 power credits. So there's, you know, packs that are half the price that come with just a character and no credits. And then some packs that are this full price uh, and still don't come with credits. Uh, so this is sort of like the normal deal that you get. Yeah. One variation of it. But it doesn't unlock a copy in your store. You're going to have a chance to not only earn it for free uh, and be able to reset the challenge if you have more time to complete it multiple times. Uh, yeah. But it'll also unlock it in your store. Uh, so as long as you're willing to play next week, you know. I, I yeah. don't think you have any reason to yeah. buy this. Uh, we also have the Justice League pack. Uh, again, twenty four ninety nine comes with Superman, Aquaman, and Wonder Woman regime. Uh, so that's an in store character, a challenge character, and a store character. If you look at them, which is not a great deal, you know. In general, you want sure. all the characters that you get to be a little bit harder to get than just credits. But if they were gonna do it, if they were gonna try to make this more attractive, what they should be doing is having this pack available during a challenge when Aquaman is a required character. That's true. Yeah, the, they're they're missing they're missing an opportunity. What there. they should really do is they should have bundles for the challenge every time there's a challenge around with the required characters. Oh yeah, that would be great. Yeah, and they wouldn't even necessarily need to give them to you in gold, right? If they made it just like twelve bucks and they gave it to you the lowest tier possible, or like yes. twenty four if they yes. had like multiple gold for them. Yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we also have the character bundle Lantern Elite, uh, which is in its second week, and then a bunch of other old packs old packs. Could have been around for a while yeah yeah all right so phantom zone i made a mistake last week my bad um i think it, i said it <laughs> yeah but i i've been oh, i guess it was you yeah it was your fault you. i made a mistake <laughs> but there was phantom zone around. yeah because i think we we filmed it a little too early so it's got one more week left uh fight 62 still broken um last weekend's breakthrough for golds was zod aquaman and shazam this coming weekend's is probably going to be catwoman deathstroke and raven link in the description to a thread in the injustice mobile subreddit from devlin 16 that goes over the complete breakthrough cycle mm -hmm. um and as far as the current glitches go 
we will go into more detail every time something significant changes, which did not happen this week. However, even if nothing changes, we do go into a bit more detail once a month, the first week of every month. Most recently, that was a recap from April the 4th, 2024, two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can also see a video tutorial for every working glitch in our playlist, Current Working Glitches, linked in the description of this video and in the eye in the top right corner. Yeah, the important thing worth mentioning is that the Challenge Reset glitch has been confirmed to be working on Rebirth Raven, uh, as well as the um, Phantom Zone reset glitch. They're the same glitch. You reset progress on one, you do it on both. So just make sure you're willing to reset progress on both before you try for either. Right. Right. And there we go. To finish up, we'd like to give a huge thank you to all of our lovely patrons on Patreon. That would be Michael DeVries, Irvin Ruiz, Hoshi127, and Nora Klimek, supporting us on the credited level, and 5x5, five five, who's supporting us on the gratitude level. So there we go. Thank you so much for your support. And thanks so much to all of you for, for hanging out with us for a little while. We'll see you next time. Komoda. Komoda.